You guys want to do a wheelie? Ready? Hello Internet, Kyle Bradshaw here and today I'm going to be giving you an in-helmet review of this Icon Air Flight Helmet. So I've been wearing this helmet about six months, I've got about 10,000 miles on this helmet, so today I'm going to tell you what I think about it. Let's get rolling. Curb. Woo! So the first thing I'm going to say about this helmet is it is a show stopper. It doesn't matter where you go in this helmet, people are like, dude, that's such a cool helmet. Where'd you get that from? And it's just, it's crazy. Like, this helmet is one of the biggest conversation starters I think I've had other than the motorcycle itself. I mean, obviously, every time you stop, people talk about your motorcycle, but this helmet is probably the only piece of gear that I've worn in a long time that people have, like, gone out of their way to walk up to talk to you about. It's pretty interesting. All right, so there are some good and there are some bads. Uh, probably good would be aesthetic. It looks really cool. Um, another good would be the fit and finish. It's actually a pretty good fit and finish. Um, originally, when I first wore it, it was a bit loud. Uh, louder than the helmet that I was coming out of. So I was a little bit, nah, not so happy about that. But um, I've gotten used to that, if you want to say. And I've tried a couple helmets since then, uh, just for day use. And I've noticed that they've been just about the same loudness. So it's really not any louder than any other helmet that's out there. It's just, it's not as quiet as the helmet that I originally came out of. So my initial impression was a little bit different. So fit and finish, uh, it's more of an oval shaped head instead of a round shaped head. So if you have a, a medium oval or a long oval, it's a good fit. Um, I personally have a long oval and it fits absolutely amazing. Icon is just a good fitting helmet on my personal head shape. I really like the way that their helmets fit. So I gotta say, out of the box, it's a striking helmet. It looks really good and there's a good reason that people want to come up and ask about it because it looks very different than a lot of the other helmets that are out there on the marketplace that people are used to seeing. Um, I went ahead and put the RST Silver Shield on it, which I really like. Um, it's a little bit dark for nighttime riding. They definitely don't recommend nighttime riding, but it's doable. Speaking of the shield, one thing that I really like about this helmet is the way that the side plates just pop off easily, and the shield is a cinch to change. I'll go ahead and get some B-roll of that so I can pop that into this video and show you what that looks like. But it, it really is simple. They just go pop, pop, they pop off, and then the shield's easy to change. It's not like olden days that it was really a hassle um, to get a shield on and off the helmet. All right, guys, I'm going to squeeze past here real quick. When it comes to venting, this helmet is very, very vented, but there are a couple downfalls with the venting that I would definitely like to point out. Um, I really don't like the way that the breath box vent opens and closes. So the vent right here in front of the face shield that has... I mean, the face shield comes and covers it, so you can't have a flip switch because the face shield is over the top of it. Um... So you have to reach up underneath the helmet and flip a little lever on the inside. Now it's a little bit cumbersome because there's a, a chin curtain that's there that is a little bit difficult to kind of get up and around in order to get that vent open. So I, I almost recommend if you know you're going to need the vent open, just leave it open. If it's a little bit chilly, just deal with it. Do not do it trying to ride down the road because it is not an easy vent to get to. Um, all the other vents work as you would expect a normal vent to work. Ooh, these guys are racing. All the other vents work as you would expect a normal vent to work, except for the two top vents. Let's get them. The two top vents I was very surprised about. So I had them open and cruising down the highway when I first put the helmet on and was cruising around with it. And it felt like they weren't quite, you know, I mean, I, the, the helmet's so vented in the front that you don't really realize, unless it's a cold day and that cold wind's going to come hit you on the scalp, you don't really notice the two at the top. At least I wasn't noticing the two at the top. And then what happened was I flipped the internal sun visor down and poof, all of a sudden my head got cold. And I was like, what in the world? So I flipped the internal sun visor back up again and the vents closed, essentially. I mean, they're still open, but that internal sun visor actually blocks the airflow of those vents. When the sun visor comes down, it opens up these vents and then they flow clearly right over the top. Uh, so that's just something to think about. I mean, 
Typically, the most of the time when you're going to have that sun visor down is when it's going to be warm and during the daytime. And if it's nighttime, it's typically a little cooler. So having that flip up and kind of close those vents, if you will, is not a deal breaker for me. But it is something to note. I mean, if you don't want that sun visor down and you want those vents to really, really work, nah, it's almost recommended, I'd say, that you remove that sun visor, the drop down, if you're not going to be using it so that you can have full access to your vents. A couple other things I noticed, the visor itself, when it closes, it has a snap, a crisp snap at the very bottom. Um, that if it's not snapped in that snap, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a lot of wind noise up and around the top of the visor and again, coming in from the side. So I did notice that if I didn't have that snap closed, like that really secure snap at the bottom, I could bring my hand up and kind of put it over the front of the shield here. And if my hand blocked that wind, boom, it just disappeared. Like that wind noise was gone. So if I snap the bottom in place to really secure it, kind of pull it against that uh, seal, if you will, I was able to get a better seal and that wind noise stopped. Now mounting an intercom. If you go to shapmoto.com, you'll take a look. I have an installation video of a Cena 30K into this helmet. Uh, it's the same headset that I'm currently using right now. Nicely done truck, dude. Um, yeah, as far as the other comm features, it's really easy. It's got really large speaker pockets for your speakers of your comm unit. I did notice that due to the aerodynamics of this helmet, when I did put the comm unit on, the Cena 30K is a relatively large unit, and that large unit does get a bunch of wind. Whoa, buddy. Texting while driving and swerving into other lanes. Awesome. So just like I was able to put my hand over the top and then block that wind and make that wind flow up and over that 30K, the no ambient noise inside my helmet significantly drops. Right here's the 30K and you can see a space in there where that wind is just funneling right past. And that was also the case with my GoPro mounted on the side of the helmet. I ran it that way for a while, but the wind noise from that GoPro was just atrocious. So I ended up mounting the GoPro here on the front of the helmet, which is my preferred place to mount it on this helmet, but it becomes tricky because now I have my audio cable that has to go basically attached to the visor, run all the way back to the hinge mechanism, kind of be taped down. It's not so fun, but it works. Uh, let's see, what else I have to say about this helmet? Side plates that pop off really easily. The helmet visor literally open it up, bink, and it pops right off. Uh, that was really handy. If the front vent is open, ouch. Ah, 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 ah. That car just kicked up a fat rock and just hit me in the thigh. Oh, it did not feel good. If you have this chin vent open, like I have the GoPro covering the majority of it right now, but right now, if I open my mouth, man, that wind is just rushing right in. It's really, really vented. And even doing a vlog like this, if that vent's open and I'm busy vlogging, I actually get dry mouth because that wind is really nice. I mean, I have such a good amount of ventilation and airflow inside like around my face right now i love it i really like that a lot it's not blasting on your face like it would be if you had a you know an open face helmet or your visor was open but you do have the ambiance of being out here on the open road and having that airflow around i really really like that conversely i've been in other helmets recently like the cena momentum helmet that had literally no chin ventilation at all um, it did have a vent that opened up, but it just put a little bit of air up onto the visor to defog it. Um, but there was zero physical feeling of airflow inside the helmet, and I really dislike that. Not what I like. I like to have a very open front, free-flowing, so I get lots of air. Now, the part of the reason for that is I don't only just ride on the street. I also use this helmet for dual sport riding. So out on the big 1190, out there hustling, huffing, and puffing out in the in the uh, in the elements. I like to have that airflow and that breeze that's coming in. It's really, really a nice effect. Uh, spoiler on the back, I guess it works. Um, I don't get any drag or pull on this helmet. You know, I can ride 80 miles an hour. I can turn my head and I have zero wind or buffeting or anything like that. And as you can see, 
I'm on a pretty naked bike here. So if aerodynamics was going to be a factor, I would definitely be noticing it while riding this style of bike. This guy almost got over, but he took a look. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I'm really enjoying this RST Silver Shield. So right now that sun is beating down super bright. It's early in the morning. And zero squinting. I can look straight up there and not have that sun be a factor in my morning commute. Which, if I have a clear shield only, that sun is just a nuisance. It's right there and it's really, really strong. Now, it does have the drop-down sun visor. So, if I had a clear shield, that wouldn't be an issue with this particular helmet. But on other helmets that don't have drop-down sun visors and I have a clear shield, it definitely is not fun. So, the RST Silver Shield is enough to block that light and make it really comfortable without even having to deploy that visor. Now, the visor deploys pretty easily. I can just reach up with my thumb and push it down. Obviously, you can't see that here in either this shot because all you're seeing is the visor itself, or the shield itself, and you can't see it in the other shots because if I lift you up, you're gonna go to the sky. Now, I am doing 75 miles an hour on the freeway. It is possible to ride with that shield in the up position, but as one would expect, I am getting some drag that gets put on that helmet. Because that space between the top of the visor and the helmet itself is so large, I really don't get that air scoop effect that I really thought I was gonna have. I didn't think I would be able to ride this helmet on the freeway at freeway speeds with that visor open or cracked. Now I do have to warn you that if you want to ride around town, with your visor cracked like this, it does buff it around a lot. I don't know if you can see it moving or not. But it does buff it around quite a bit. So, if you're looking for a helmet that you can ride cracked like that, this probably isn't the one for you. But that mouth vent is so big and lets so much air in, the reason that you would crack that visor to begin with is really a moot point, because you don't need it. There, I can say there's so much wind inside this helmet. It's really, it's cooling when it's cool outside. And even when it's hot, it's refreshing because your air, and the air in your helmet doesn't get stale. So the liner of the helmet's really plush. It's that silver liner from Icon that they say is a cooling fabric. So as that fabric gets wet, it actually is cooler against your skin than it would be. It is moisture wicking, so it pulls that moisture away from your face and into the internal foam of the cheek pads and the headliner, which keeps your head cooler at all times. It snaps out really easily, which is nice. I really like that feature. It is machine washable. So keeping your helmet clean and smelling good on the inside is really easy with this helmet. Now, if you don't want to take your pads out and wash them, you can always use Motorex Helmet Care. That's a product that I really like. You can literally spray the helmet care in, let it sit for a few minutes, and then wipe it out, and you are good to go. It smells like your helmet just came back from the dry, the dry cleaners. It's a good effect. I like it. Look at this beautiful weather we have. Our mountains are clear. That right there, you're looking at the San Bernardino National Forest. Uh, literally just on the other side of that hill is the little town of Crestline and Lake Arrowhead. Then about 40 more miles that direction is going to be Big Bear. Um, this is a fun area to live. We've got lots of riding down here, lots of places to go explore and check out. Anyway, this is my on bike review. Oh, check out my shadow. That was cool. There it is. Hi, everyone. So, this is my on bike review of this Icon Air Flight helmet with the RST Silver Shield. As you can see, I've tried multiple GoPro mounts. It was really tough to get one to fit on this helmet like I wanted. I was really against mounting it up on the front of the shield because I wanted the shield to be functional and my mic wire has to go inside, but I was able to rectify that. Anyway, I got an incoming phone call here on the scene of 30K. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe to this video if you thought any of the content was interesting. Until then, take care. Ride safe out there. Good morning, this is Kyle.